Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Marine Engineers Ideas. So the topic I will discuss for today is all about the pressure compression or PCOM in auxiliary engine. So what is the pressure compression or PCOM? So pressure compression or PCOM is a compression uh, during the compression strokes. Okay, so the PCOM has a crucial role during the process of combustion in power stroke no in order to attain the high uh, performance of the engine we need to have a good uh, peak of or pressure compression in order to have a good combustion during good combustion in power stroke so we have three effects of low pressure compression we have reduced power output, increased fuel consumption, and engine starting problem. Okay, in reduced power output, uh, the auxiliary engine will lead to uh, have a low efficiency during the low pressure compression. Okay, number two is the increase of fuel consumption. Incomplete uh, combustion will lead to increased fuel consumption and high operating cost. And number three is a uh, engine starting problem. Okay, the auxiliary engine is uh, very hard to start during the uh, cold weather, especially if there is a uh, low pressure compression. So, what is the ideal way to determine if it is a low peak or loss compression in a cylinder okay is it in measuring to measuring in a peak or in Pmax? so i prefer to choose a peak in order to determine the a loss compression okay in Pmax, it is a me measuring of the high performance of the engine during the combustion process in the power stroke so there are many factors to attain in order to have a high Pmax. The first one is the condition of the fuel injection. The second one is the condition of the injectors. The third one is the condition of the piston rings. And the third one is the condition of the exhaust valve in main engine or the exhaust valve or intake valve in auxiliary engine. And the fifth one is the uh, bulb seat. So that is that is the factors uh, in order to have a good performance if they are have if they are a if they had a good condition. So it is not uh, necessarily mean that if the result of the Pmax had a low pressure we, that that we can consider that there is a loss compression because. Uh, what if the only problem is the uh, fuel injection so if the fuel injection uh, had a insufficient amount of fuel that can be uh, supplied to the uh, cylinder so the tendency is to have a lo low result of the Pmax so it is not uh, necessary or that we can determine that uh, we consider that there is a loss compression. So I prefer to choose the PCOM because we have only three uh, factors that we only consider. The first one is the piston ring only, the, the, the condition of the piston ring. The second one is the exhaust bulb in the main engine or the exhaust and intake of the uh, auxiliary engine. And the third one is the bulb seats so if there is a problem in the three mentioned so we can easily find the problem if there is a loss compression okay so procedures in measuring pressure compression in auxiliary engine uh, there are many uh, persons in charge that they don't know on how to get the uh, the result or the measures of the uh, PCOM in auxiliary engine. Uh, in main engine, it is very easy to find because uh, 
you can only uh, go to the main operating panel in or in MOP in uh, control room, you can easily find the PCOM result in main engine. But in an auxiliary engine, uh, it's not the, not the way. So this is the proper way on how to on how to get the measures of the PCOM, okay? So the process is the same way in uh, measuring in Pmax. Just only put the device in the indicator cock and pull the pump rack from operating position to zero position. Okay. Assuming this is the pump rack, no? Uh, just only pull the uh, pump rack on just only pull the pump rack in order to the setting of the pump rack is make it a zero position okay so when the pump rack have already pulled and uh, it was already in zero position uh, that's the time that we have we have to measure the uh the peak on because in every time that the every time that the piston goes up and down there is no combustion process, so we can easily uh, measure the PCOM or the pressure compression. So that's only, so that is the process or the procedures on how to get a PCOM. Just only pull the uh, pump rack to make it zero position. So the one of the cylinder that uh, we have measuring, there is no combustion process because the pump rack is in zero position. So the while the uh, piston is goes ups and down only the compression process is uh occurred okay so what are the causes of the low pressure compression or pcom so that is the damage of the piston rings so so it is very literal no the second one is a uh, damage of exhaust and intake bulbs. So, yun nga, if there is a damage from the exhaust or intake bulbs, kung may pinga siya, sisingaw siya. And the third one is damage from the bulb seat, of course. And the same with the exhaust and intake bulbs. Kung may pingas or damage, uh, there will be a leaking of the pressure inside the cylinder. So, what about the cause of high pressure compression in PCOM or, or PCOM? That is the too much carbon in cylinder head. So, that is the reason. Okay. That's all for the uh, pressure compression. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and share the marine engineer's ideas. Thank you very much.